hello and welcome back to the channel if you are new here hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and we'll bring you more great videos so today's video um, is about setting up your model to import into Unreal Engine um, this is mainly for I guess beginners um, so what we need to do we're just going to create we're going to keep it so something, something simple we're going to create a wall um, so let's just create a cube okay and then we're going to scale it on down right so if you was to import this into Unreal Engine it will be a disaster I'm going to show you I'm going to file export FBX I've already set one up wall we're going to just copy uh, right over it I will call it wall 01 actually wall 01 selected objects only export okay now let's get Unreal Engine open so this is Unreal Engine 5 I've set up a folder called my assets um, I'm going to import I'm just going to drag it in the wall 01 FBX I'm just going to import get rid of that so here's our wall now remember our wall is here our floor is here our center point is in the center here so what do you think is going to happen when we drag it into Unreal I'll show you it's going to bring it in as per what you've got in Blender you've got your floor which is at the center point you've got your center axis there so you're going to be put dragging it up dragging it along etc etc and that will be the same if we say we moved our model over here okay and we file export FBX wall 01 okay so we're going to go back into here and we'll re-import so you can see now our center line is here and our model is over here so that doesn't help anybody now this is what happened to me when I first started using Unreal um, I was creating a um, educational type animation um, and I didn't realize at the time that everything had to be on this center point um, so I was like importing stuff I was doing animations <laughs> and everything was just going all wrong so what we need to do we're going to drag our model back to the center. We're going to drag it up so it's just on the bottom there. Okay, so we should be aligned with the floor. Now, what we need to do is drag it over. Now, I like to have my access point on the corner. Okay, so I'm going to drag it across so it fits on the corner there. There. Okay, so a little cursor there. You can drag that wherever you like but we're going to have it on the corner okay um so what we need to do now is we need to get this over to there so go to object set origin uh, origin to 3d cursor boom there it is look right on the corner just as we want it so now i'm going to file export um fbx our wall zero one export fbx go back into unreal and re-import so right click and then we've got re-import boom it's bang on our corner look, which is where we want it so there we go and then all we need to do then is just do um alt and then we can move along and create a nice big long wall but another thing you've got to watch out for is obviously we haven't done any uv on wrapping we've done our scale um, and as you can see here, our X is 0.23A and everything else is on one. So while we're back in object mode, control A, um, and then we want to reset all transforms. So then we've got 111 on the scale. Um, and then go into edit, tab into edit, select A to select all faces, go into UV, smart UV unwrap. Okay, now if I just quickly show you again. So up here, we've got some really crap UVs going on okay down here looks okay at the top there because we've squashed it it's all squashed so what we need to do now we've done our unwrapping and rescaling file 
export FBX, wall 01, selected objects only, export FBX, and re import. Boom. So there we got our fresh new blocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it some brick tiles. And yeah, but it doesn't look like we need to scale it, so that's all good. And then we can just play, grab a gun, boom. And there's our wall. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you got something out of it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Ta-da.